Welcome to Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. In this video, we'll share one of the most important events of each year, spawning our salmon. We raise spring Chinook salmon at Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. In May and June, the adult fish return from the ocean and enter our adult ponds. In August, it is time for them to lay their eggs. For fish in our ponds, it is their destiny to provide the next generation for our hatchery to raise. Females are crowded into a small part of one of the adult ponds and pushed into an elevator. The females are carried by the elevator up to the spawning shed, exposed to a chemical in the elevator that quickly kills them. All salmon die after spawning, even in nature. Every female is tagged and sampled. In another video, we'll tell you more about what we learn from our fish. The tags follow her eggs also, tracking them during their early development. Iodine is painted on the bellies of the females to reduce contamination of their eggs during the spawning process. Males, meanwhile, are collected from the second adult pond and quickly killed. They are carried to the spawning shed. They are placed in a special container that resembles post office box slots. Then the spawning itself begins. Females are cut open to release their eggs into a bowl. Every female's eggs are fertilized with milt from two males. This ensures all the eggs will be fertilized. The next female will be fertilized by the same males, but the order of the males will be switched. A little water is added and fertilization is complete. The eggs are placed in a specially designed carrier in a golf cart. Eggs are very sensitive to ultraviolet radiation, so they are shielded from the sun. The eggs are driven to the nursery building, where the bowls of eggs are unloaded. The eggs are in colanders inside a bowl to make washing them easier. The female's tag number continues to follow the eggs. Eggs are carefully washed in clean running water from our wells. Stacks of trays will hold the eggs. An iodine bath is prepared for them to sterilize the outside of the eggs and reduce problems with bacteria and viruses. Each bowl of eggs is carefully poured into its own tray. The iodine bath lasts 30 minutes, then fresh water is allowed into the trays. Each tray is marked with the number that matches the female's number, and the time is written down so we know when to let fresh water flush out the iodine. Bowls and colanders are washed, sterilized in bleach water, rinsed thoroughly in clean well water, and sent back outside to the spawning operation. In our next video, we'll take a look at how we learn from what we do through our monitoring and evaluation program.